In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my latest pair of bespoke George Cleverly Baron Doridi loafers. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Back in April of 2018, about a year ago, whenever I was in London for the 2018 World Championship of Shoemaking, I had an opportunity to visit George Cleverly's Atelier uh, in the Royal Arcade and go visit the workshop on the first floor with uh, George Glasgow Jr. As many of you know, the Baron de Reedy loafer is probably my favorite shoe. I love the sleek elegance of this casual loafer. Uh, I have three of them. For my fourth pair of the Baron de Reedy's, I really wanted to do something special, and so it's for that reason and I, I, you had my eye on uh, some alligator shoes. I, I don't have any alligator shoes. I've got an old pair of crocodile shoes I inherited from my grandfather. Uh, but alligator, without question, is probably one of the most exotic materials that you can have a pair of shoes made from. So for those of you that have seen the shop visit, if you haven't watched it, I encourage you to take a look at it. It's an excellent shop visit. Um, George was able to present to me several options, but one of the things that he was able to find that was really special was an alligator uh, skin that they had tanned just to celebrate their 60th anniversary, so it was a limited uh, edition run. Uh, I think they only did 12 skins, maybe. So, and it was their Cleverly Cabernet, so a beautiful kind of burgundy color. Uh, and for those that have uh, been following some of my shoes, I've got a Cabernet pair of pigskin loafers in the Baron Doridi model. It's a beautiful color. I love Cabernet because uh, you can wear it with black, you can wear it with gray, you can wear it with navy. It's actually a very versatile shoe uh, that can add color in a situation where you would otherwise wear just black shoes. Uh, as you all know, uh, black is probably the color I wear the most, but it's nice to have a little bit of color to mix things up. So, so here we are. This is my fourth pair of Baron Doridi loafers. That comes in, of course, the George Cleverly bespoke shoe box. Um, and let's see what these look like. All right. So all of uh, Cleverly's bespoke shoes come in this nice shoe box. It's a, really a nice shoe storage box. Uh, I don't use them because I like to put my shoes out on my shelf so that I can see them uh, in my closet. But uh, this is nice if you're pressed for room or you know have some shoes that you want to store for longer term or maybe even use to just keep some socks and some other things. Uh, it's a really nice kind of sturdy box. Of course, all their shoes uh, they send with a nice shoehorn. Um, this is essentially uh, from Abbey Horn. It's a, a beautiful ox horn, uh, travel shoe horn. We sell these uh, also. Great thing to keep in your briefcase, so it's always nice to have a few extra of those. Another thing I like about their case uh, is the file card holder. And here at uh, Kirby Allison, we actually sell a shoe storage box that we have a file card holder put on also, so that if you do have your shoes stored uh, in the box, you can write on here, you know, uh, what's in the box so that you don't have to um, you know, look through everything to find what you're looking for. But here we are. So these are a nice kind of a micro suede bag. And um, let's see what these look like. So we're gonna be checking out these shoes for the first time together. <sighs> Beautiful. Wow, so here we go. Uh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful shoe. Baron de Reedy bespoke, uh, or George Cleverly bespoke Baron de Reedy uh, loafer. This is in uh, the Cleverly uh, Cabernet, um, which is a beautiful kind of burgundy. Uh, they've darkened the skin a little bit, so it seems like they've maybe polished this when they finished the shoe, uh, maybe with the black polish to kind of darken it. It's really got some nice antiquing, and uh, this is uh, absolutely marvelous. So. Uh, you know, what I love about the Baron Doridi loafer uh, is it's, you know, it's a casual model, but it still maintains kind of a sleek elegance. As you can see, the forward part of the shoe, you know, really sweeps forward. It's a hand-sewn uh, apron, you know, right here. This strap sweeps back. Um, you know, of course, with all bespoke shoes, you've got a beautiful, you know, elegantly sculpted heel that really hugs the bottom of the heel base, curves in, a nice kind of tight waist, a beautiful bottom finishing. You know, they, they tack uh, the toe in order to just reinforce that a little bit. 
Uh, nice shank, I mean, it's not a fiddle-backed waist, but it still has some nice shape to it, uh, which I like, it's still subtle. And uh, you know, this shoe in so many ways showcases what I think uh, George Cleverly is best known for, which is made, making beautiful, yeah, elegant shoes uh, that really focuses more on the design element than anything else. I mean, their make, of course, is exceptional, uh, but it's got the soft kind of, you know, suspiciously square toe. Uh, and a nice kind of beautiful last. Now, one of the things, uh, we actually had an opportunity to sit down with John Carnera, which is their senior last maker. Uh, he's been making uh, lasts for, uh, you know, the better part of uh, 65 years, an incredible gentleman. And uh, George um, Cleverly, you know, the original, uh, one of the things that he really invented is something called the twisted last, where the last is, is literally twisted a little bit. And you kind of see it in the way that this shoe rocks. Uh, and the function of the twisted last is, you know, by twisting it, they were able to still create the volume of the shoe to allow the foot to fit, but elongate the silhouette a little bit so that it was still elegant. So um, anyway, beautiful shoe. Bespoke shoe trees, of course. Uh, these are hinged. You can always tell a bespoke shoe tree uh, because it's hinged. Um, you know, it's able to fit perfectly and really maintain the shape of the shoe. Uh, as it was uh, built around the original last. This is made from a really lightweight, you know, bolsa or ubichi wood. One of the other things Cleverly does is they, you know, stamp your initials uh, onto the top of the shoe tree, which is a nice touch. And then on the bottom, you know, they write the order number of the shoe, which corresponds, if you look on the inside of the shoe, it corresponds to that. So you can always match up which pair of shoe trees is meant for which shoe, because even between shoes, if you have different styles and models, uh, they're uh, always gonna differ a little bit in shape. Beautiful, beautiful shoe, uh, and the making on this is 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 exceptional. I mean, you know, with any pair of bespoke shoes, you know that are they're sent out to various outworkers. Um, you know, someone like George Cleverly that uh, does a pretty significant volume of bespoke shoes. You know, probably has a team of fifteen shoemakers that's doing all of their work, and so. Um, you know, your shoes, of course, are always being built on the same last, but they might be sent out to different people. And this one, I can already see, you know, the sole is, you know, about a millimeter thicker than the sole on some of my other Baron Dorides. And it has a slightly thicker fudging around it, which, uh, you know, gives this shoe great structure. So as many of you know, I've got four pair of Baron Dorides, and uh, this is my first pair right here. Uh, this is a brown pigskin. Uh, and I wanted to bring this out just to show kind of the evolution uh, of this shoe. So it's one of the important things to keep in mind that whenever you're ordering bespoke shoes, it is a little bit of an evolution. And so the first shoe that they made, um, you know, the strap wasn't swept back as much. Uh, you know, there were a few adjustments that we needed to make just in terms of kind of the interior kind of puckering. And um, so you can see that, you know, whenever we, you know, made the first pair, we were then able to uh, really uh, further elevate and change this uh, to the second pair. Uh, and then, you know, really after the second pair, the pattern has been much the same. So it's just part of the bespoke process is committing to that change. You know, different shoemakers approach it differently. So absolutely beautiful shoes. So let's, let's try this baby on. So here we are, my bespoke George Cleverly Baron Dorigi Alligator Loafers in their 60th anniversary uh, Cabernet. And then actually I'm wearing, uh, coincidentally today, another pair of burgundy shoes. These were the first pair of bespoke uh, George Cleverly shoes I ever had made. I think it was back in, shoot, I think 2011 or 2012, long time ago. So this really kind of represents my full journey uh, with George Cleverly. This has got to be my sixth or seventh pair. Um, so let's try these babies on and see how they fit.
So a bespoke casual or loafer is actually more difficult to make than a lace-up because there's less shoe to actually grip the foot. And so uh, a lot of bespoke shoemakers uh, won't even make a casual for the first pair. They insist on perfecting the lace-up last because then from that they take away uh, in order to create the casual last, which uh, should fit even tighter on the foot than the lace-up. So uh, these shoes certainly reflect that, that journey. So here they are, beautiful. I mean, absolutely beautiful shoe. I mean, this is exactly how I would wear them. It's actually why I wore this today. It's a nice, beautiful uh, charcoal pair of trousers, nice odd jacket, white shirt, dark gray socks. These are Kirby Allison Sovereign grade socks. They go perfectly with the trousers and the shoes. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just so beautiful to add a little bit of color. Of course, alligator, you know, probably the material of kings. I mean, this is a, certainly uh, the most exotic material as you can have a pair of shoes made in. Uh, I'm afraid to see how much they cost, uh, but absolutely beautiful. And you can see uh, why I love this shoe so much. I mean, it's just such a beautiful shoe. I absolutely love it. I mean, the hand-sewn apron has beautiful detail to it. The uh, strap that sweeps back is sleek. Uh, it's a casual uh, casual shoe that still, uh, in many ways, is quite elegant and formal at the same time. They fit perfectly. They fit exactly as I would expect since, uh, you know, I've already got three pairs made from the same last. Uh, one of the things uh, that you can immediately feel that differentiates a bespoke pair of shoes from a ready-to-wear pair is just how much closer these shoes fit to the foot. Uh, I mean, they really fit like a glove, uh, you know, really hugging every single contour of the foot. I've got great support here, you know, on the instep. And, um, you know, it's an absolutely beautiful shoe, beautiful lines. Um, one of the other things that really differentiates a bespoke shoe from a ready-to-wear shoe is just how much closer to the ground this shoe sits. And the reason is because, uh, it's, because it's being handmade that so much more work and finesse is able to be put into the shoe. Not only is it lighter, uh, which makes it uh, less fatiguing to wear throughout the day, but you sit closer to the ground because of the way that the welting is done. In a ready-to-wear shoe, you actually have a small, you know, three millimeter, maybe four millimeter, uh, you know, it's a canvas ribbing that is glued to the insole. And then the welt is sewn uh, to that ribbing, uh, right? Whereas on a bespoke shoe, you channel the insole. So you're actually, you know, digging out a groove on the insole that then the welt is sewn through. So the difference is, is on a ready-to-wear shoe, you have a, a, a cavity that is a few millimeters, maybe two or three millimeters that has to be filled with cork or something else. Uh, that just adds more height to the shoe. Whereas with the bespoke shoe, you know, that cavity is about a millimeter max. And so it's just a sleeker shoe. It sits closer to the ground. You know, the difference, um, you know, I've often thought about how to best describe this. It actually took me a while to even pick up on that nuance of a bespoke shoe. Uh, you know, the difference is, you know, walking barefoot on, you know, shag carpet, which would be ready to wear, or walking barefoot on a beautiful silk Persian rug. Uh, there's just something different about that, even if it's hard to describe. Uh, or you could say it's the difference between, you know, a, a sports car like, say, a, you know, a BMW uh, M3, which is a great sports car, ready to wear, or a Ferrari. They're both sports cars, but one sits dramatically closer to the ground, is sleeker, and handles better, and is more responsive than the other, despite being fantastic shoes. And to me, at the end of the day, that's the difference with the bespoke pair of shoes and something that's ready to wear, is just that finesse, that elegance, you know, those, you know, really difficult to pick up onto subtleties that once you've been wearing bespoke shoes for a while really make you never want to go back to a ready-to-wear pair. An absolutely beautiful pair of shoes. Um, 
You know, one of the questions that I've received a lot is, you know, can you have the same pair of shoes made in a bunch of different materials and colors? I think that this really proves the point that if you find a model you absolutely love, that yes, absolutely, why would you not have that shoe made in as many different materials uh, as you enjoy? And so these Baron Dorides, you know, are just a favorite model of mine. It's kind of really become personal to me. And so it's great having this shoe, you know, in a variety of different uh, leathers and finishes because I love it so much uh, that why not enjoy it in different colors and different materials. So if you haven't seen our full series of videos on George Cleverly, uh, we've got several videos. We've got an extensive archive with them. You know, make sure that you dig into our archives here at the Kirby Allison YouTube channel uh, and explore their workshop. And of course, they have an extensive travel schedule for anyone that's looking, uh, you know, to explore the world of bespoke shoes. You know, George Cleverly is probably in many ways the most approachable uh, in terms of their price point. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for joining me.